Close reading. Close reading. Close. Come on, get close. Today, today, wrinkles. <laughs> today, we're gonna do some close reading. You ready for it? Okay. Yes, friends, I am Joel Kolovsky, the super brave teacher who is gonna tip Google and YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way. Radically positive and accepting way for all, for all. So like this channel, share this channel, do what you do. Can you just tell I got home after a day of teaching kids and that I'm still like pumped up and like all singing and like the sun's already down and we won't get into that, but close reading. Here we go. So today we're gonna do close reading, but for adults and not the typical close reading, like as in reading a book, but as in reading life. Yes, but what is close reading? You might be saying like, oh wait, Joel, I'm not a, I'm not a teacher. I don't, I, 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 I don't know what close reading is. Well, I'll tell you. Close reading is when you take a text and you read it again and again and again, and each time you read it, you notice more things. So a lot of times, kids will read something and then they'll take a test, and you're like, wait a second, um, did you, did, do you really know what you read? You should read it again and again and notice different elements of the text the illustrations, whatever it is, new words, new vocabulary, all of that stuff. So in kindergarten, we'll read them a book and we'll say, okay, now we're gonna read it again. We're gonna see if we can notice different things. So, oh, I didn't notice this illustration before. <gasps> I didn't notice these awesome words before. <gasps> I didn't see the connection between this page and this page. <gasps> this book makes you think of that book. <gasps> Maybe after we read this a few more times, we can read that book a few more times and see if we can do some cross textual strategies. I'm used to teaching in English, in Spanish, not in English, so bear with me. Anyway, bear with me. <laughs> so the reason I am talking about this strategy is because I think we need to do it as adults. Yes. So often I read you and however I read you the first time is exactly how I keep it. So huh? I read you, mm, don't like you and I move on. Or I read you, you look frustrated right now, I'm walking away. Or I read you, you look like someone I wanna to talk to, I'm gonna to talk to you. Or I read you and we read someone the first time and then that's it. Instead of reading someone, looking at them, noticing them, being curious, hmm, I don't get that. And then we get a little closer or a little far back and we observe them again. And then we get a little closer and we talk to them and we listen again and again and again. And we get to know them again and again and again. And then we notice, just like with close reading, we notice with adults, wait, there are so many layers here that I didn't get. Wow. Wait a second. The more I get to know you, the more I know you closely, the more I read you, and appreciate you, the more I get you. So and just like I would never send out a kid and like have them read a book one time and then go give them a test, I don't think we as adults need to go reading people one time and then putting them to the test or putting our judgments on them or determining their worth in our little snap, snap judgment, whatever you want to call it. And I, like I do on this channel, I'm gonna call myself on that. I have this brain that's like, and I figured you out, so I gotcha. Got not always, in fact, usually not, and I'm gonna call myself on that. I need to get better at reading people closely, which means coming at them again and again and again. So your challenge for the week, or even for just the day, is how deeply do you know people? What, how, what could you do to get to know people more closely? How amazing would that be, feel, and sound if everybody, just like we teach kids with books, if everybody started to get to know the world, their neighbor, their friend, closely. So, try it. I'm gonna do it too, okay? Me and you, me and you, how's that sound? Awesome. Tell me how it goes. Leave a comment below. How is the close reading going for you? I want to know. I want to know. Thank you so much. You are appreciated. You are valued. You are loved. You are enough. 
just for being you. And Joel, I'm gonna read you closely, even those wrinkles on our sun. And say, you don't need to distract Joel. You are enough, you are loved, you are appreciated just as you are, just for being you.